Hello guys, this is Nitin Power. Welcome to my channel. In my last video, I have shown you how you can create your Databricks resource in your Azure portal. In this video, we'll talk about how you can create a cluster on which you can run your notebooks. So how to create a cluster? Log into your Databricks. Once you log into Databricks, you see that compute option clicked over there. And here you can see that create cluster option is available so click on the create cluster here you can provide the cluster name i'll say that new test okay once you provide the name for your cluster then you can see that there are options available for you multi node single node so what's the main difference between those if you select the multi node, you will get the options to define your minimum workers and maximum workers on which your operations will get performed. But if you select the single node, you'll see that that option is not available for you because you are performing all the things on the single node. So I clicked on the multi node. You can provide the access node, single node access or particular user access. Then you have to provide the what type of run version you want to run your your spark should run on so there are different versions available you can select one of them and then you have to provide your worker type there are different worker types available for you it depends on the data or like what kind of jobs you are running you have to define those general purpose worker types so I'm selecting the standard one, provide that minimum or the maximum workers you want to allocate. Then the driver type. Here I'm selecting same as the worker. If you want to change that configuration, you can do that also. Then we get these options of terminate after. So I'm saying that 120 minutes, but you need to be very careful because Cluster, whenever the clusters are running, it's consumed the DUs and that DUs are responsible for your billing purpose. So make sure that you are assigning this time as per the project specification. And if you have some environmental variables you want to define, those you can define under the advanced options. So whenever when you provide all the details, click on the create cluster now your cluster will get deployed so if I again clicked on this compute I can see that my new test is being deployed it will take couple of minutes to get this cluster deployed once it is deployed I will show you now you can see that our cluster has been deployed and it's running. So this is how you can create a cluster in your Databricks. So in this video we have learned how you can create your cluster. In my next video we will talk about how you can read the data from the csv file which is present on your blog if you like my videos do subscribe to it so that you will get notified whenever i will upload the newer videos meanwhile take care thank you so much